This is the entertainment center you're seeing here. Uh, it's just the phone and the dock. Here's the dock. It just looks like any of our regular docks, except that it's got three USB ports, an HDMI out, and of course charging. So why don't we go ahead. This entertainment center allows you to view all the content that's already stored on your device. So if you take a video or take some pictures, it's immediately available to you on the big screen through an HDMI cable. I'm going to use the phone here as a remote. As you can see, I can uh, go ahead and navigate here. But we also have remote control to allow you to do this. Um, all the content is capable of being displayed at HD. So here's a nice little HD clip that we have. Okay, great. Alright, so, you can see music, you can play your music, you can see your pictures, and you can play videos. But what about streaming videos? What about the web? What about all those things that standard multimedia centers don't allow you to do? Well, we've solved that problem as well. And you got a preview of it this morning, but I'll go ahead and do a much more thorough preview. Um, review of it. This is the web top application. Okay? As you can see, here's Android. We'll get back to that later. And this is a full implementation, as you can see here, uh, private, private browsing, etc., of Mozilla's Firefox version 3.6.13, which is pretty much the newest one you can download at this time. Okay, so why don't we go ahead See, this is full desktop browser. This is not a mobile browser. This is full desktop this browser running browser. on Motorola Atrix 4G, right? That's correct. So, here's the CNN page, right? And uh, again, multiple tabs. So we can do multiple tabs. We can do multiple windows. I keep double clicking now, sorry about that. And so here's more windows. And uh, this does fully integrate Adobe Flash 10.1. So when you go to a website that has Flash, you get the full Flash experience that you would not normally see in, uh, in most handsets. <laughs> Again, remember, this, this is completely driven by the phone. I'll do a demonstration to prove it in a second here. OK, so let's take a look at this uh, Android. We've got all the status on your Android window is reflected in, on your desktop. Right, because again, it is your phone that's driving the entire desktop. You can uh, double click to get to any of these items here. You'll notice when I launch an application, it launches into a tab, just like Firefox, which gives you excellent multitasking capability. There's calculator. So you also have your menu, home, back, let's go ahead and hit home there, back, search, and rotate. This window is fully resizable and can go full screen as well. So if you wanted a full screen Android experience, for instance, if you wanted to play, I don't know, uh, Angry Birds or something, oops, just click there. Ah. If you wanted to play Angry Birds full screen with your mouse and keyboard, you can do that. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, again, since this is your phone, we've integrated the telephone functionality, obviously. So why don't we go ahead and call the Venetian. Go to contact information here, scroll down. So you see the numbers are highlighted. I can right click, I can call it, I can save the information to contacts, I can send an SMS, and go ahead and call there. And there's a dialer yeah. uh, populated. Okay. Jeez, she's so, you know, this is, first row. again, there's a lot more to show. This is just a very brief preview. We, we knew this was a good solution for our consumers, but we also sat down with um, some leading CIOs and presented this solution, they felt it was very useful for them because now they only had to manage and upgrade a single device. <laughs> That's not all, there's, there's more. Um, that single device, because this is, this is where you can see this, this is a desktop, it's similar to a desktop PC here. But if you wanted to go mobile, we also created this laptop dock. Okay? Laptop dock is 13.9 millimeters thin, uh, stereo speakers, there's, the, there's where you replace your phone. 11.6 inch, very large display, uh, large touchpad, large uh, keyboard there, and uh, 36 watt hour battery for up to 8 hours of battery life because there is no fan, there's no storage, there's no processing in here. Everything is actually run from the phone. Um, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and. So, 
remember what's showing on the screen now, and take it off. We're going to put it in here, and there's not even a power switch. The moment you dock your phone, it comes on, shows the Motorola logo, launches WebTop, and bam, you're exactly where you were on your desktop. Okay? Thank you. Truly really impressive cool. how WebTop and our new accessories unleash the power of Motorola Atrix 4G. I think this is an industry first. This has a little over eight hours of battery life, six hours of video, about ten hours of web browsing on Wi-Fi. This 13, 11.6 inch display, 36 kilowatt hour battery. It really enables you to have a full transatlantic experience on one charge. And by the way, when you take the phone away, the phone is charged because that battery is charging the display. So this is a pretty, pretty exciting device, and I think it will transform.